Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on October 16th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining the Daily Dew today. Looking at our sun the last 48 hours, large plasma filaments erupting off of the northwest and the southeast quadrants. Large plasma filament eruption across the top. We'll be able to see it in a different light here afterwards, but those are some massive filaments. Look at that large solar tornado. Pretty wild stuff. You can see it here, the eruptions, how it had affected our heliosphere on the sun. Across the northern regions, watch that for that ejection. And as well in the south, We had a small sunspot trying to form on the equatorial region, it has since died out. But we definitely got smacked with something. Looking here at our magnetosphere, this is the velocity, the wind velocity over the last uh, 12 hours. And we've seen these maps before, but watch this as it just blows up. Boom. Wow, our magnetosphere was filled right up. We are so charged up right now on this planet. Watch for a lot of action to increase through our magnetic fields across the planet. Looking here, this is the pressure. Watch this. Right there. So we do have some space weather affecting us right now. Looking here at the density bunches. As you can see, our shield is filled right up. We are highly charged right now. I'd be surprised if the Schumann residence wasn't off the charts. So stay aware and prepared, friends and family from around the world. We live in a pretty crazy planet right now, and much love to you all. God bless humanity. Overlooking our real-time solar wind, steady at 400 kilometers per second, had a quite spike, or a small spike, in the last little while, up to 427 kilometers per second. Density bunches, starting to slow down let's look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours for earthquakes we did see quite an uptick here in alaska a lot of minor earthquakes through the aleutian islands and as well california today a lot of earthquakes after the 4.7 and 4.5 recorded the other day they're still going off. And today we had in Hennessy, Oklahoma, and Cherokee 2.6 earthquakes. So there's been consistent earthquakes recently over this last little while going through the New Madrid. Now, I mind you, there is a lot of fracking that is done in Oklahoma, and these regions are riddled with fracking stations. So overlooking here at the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 256 kilometer depth in Argentina. 4.9 there in Tonga, and the largest being the 6.4 this morning in the Philippines, Colombia, Philippines. 6.7 original downgraded to 6.4. Watching an uptick here in Indonesia, Sumatra Island, 4.7 to 4.9 ranging. But pretty quiet across the African plate and European plate the last 24 hours. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Looking at all those extended rings, those are how deep the earthquakes are. And there's been a lot of deep earthquakes recently. But only one large earthquake, 6.0 and greater, over the past seven days. South America quieting down. Most of the action is in the northern hemisphere. A 
Alaska. Throughout the Aleutian Islands. Most recent action across Indonesia. Ranging 5.6 to 6.4 throughout the last seven days. So stay aware and prepared, have a plan and be ready across the United States. We are definitely seeing an earthquake uptick in this region. Watch for subduction zone earthquakes coming soon. Let's look at the tropical storm coverage as there's only one area of interest here overlooking Central America into Mexico. This pretty big storm actually and a lot of moisture associated with the center of the low there across Canada and Alberta watching for we uh, watching for some extreme weather over the next couple days as this huge low pressure system comes we've got a friend and subscriber from Edmonton who's sharing all of his weather information in regards to this system coming in as well it's already a 996 millibar storm and yesterday I don't know if anybody here in Calgary noticed but those great Chinook clouds were amazing to see beautiful out now with some warmer weather let's get to five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth Meteo Mike overlooking the Pacific Ocean you can see those two large low pressure systems are joining forces in the next five days and then moving east northeast into the Hudson Bay and then the Pineapple Express across BC expecting a lot of moisture and higher elevations will be receiving snow So that huge Pacific low ends up making it over by Saturday into Sunday, bringing snow with it to Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and into the Northwest Territories. But quite a mixed bag precipitation across Alberta and the BC interior. And then watch for a large Colorado low to form later in the week by next Monday across eastern Canada and southeastern United States watching a huge nor'easter form been talking about that for the next last couple days will be a main mainly rain event until it hits Quebec northern Quebec and Newfoundland but I think that this is going to be a crazy season for nor'easters and possible superstorm sandy scenarios overlooking the equator here Another area of interest here that is not on the tropical storm watch. And then here in the Gulf, watching a low pressure system develop and then rake up the southeastern United States. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system coming down from Greenland, bringing some pretty cool temperatures, trans transitioning from summer into fall still there. So across uh, Central Europe, they did see a lot of storms yesterday, which I reported yesterday on my Daily Dew. And then watching this huge low pressure system develop, coming straight from the North Pole and into Russia. This be the polar vortex. Watch for that to wobble around our Northern Hemisphere over the next two weeks as we could have an early winter setting in. Overlooking Australia, Southeastern Australia, the only area that is receiving any weather. Cooler temperatures moving in from that large low pressure system just south of Australian continent. Also watching New Zealand as a possible cyclone develops. Low pressure system. But if it gets any energy the next 24 hours, it could be a cyclone. Overlooking the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Huge low pressure system here. Observing. I want to thank you all for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share this video on your social media. Much love to you all. 
God bless humanity. And thanks to all the supporters. I appreciate your loyalty and your viewership. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.